Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle Roxon and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the power of jealousy and comparison. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd love to encourage you guys to please, please, please click that subscribe button down below. And also if you go to my channel and click that bell, it'll be able to help you to not be notified on when I have new videos. So I'm going to keep this nice, short and sweet, but it was something that was really laid upon my heart, something that I've even felt, found myself fall into many times and something that God basically just reconfirmed about how we as Christians can daily not succumb to the power of jealousy, the power of envious and the power of comparison. So if this is something that you're interested in watching, then please stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. So first of all, I wanted to find out the true definition of jealousy. So I went online and I'm going to read you the definition. It said that jealousy is an emotion and the word typically refers to the thoughts and feelings of insecurity, fear, concern and anxiety over an, an anticipated loss of status or something great personal value, particularly in reference to a human connection. Now, I love um, the saying about how jealousy can literally be like fire and basically the reason for that saying is the fact that once the thought of insecurity and fear comes in once the thought of who does that person think they are or how come that person has this that can really quickly grow really really quickly the longer that you allow that thought to stay in your mind and you don't put certain things in place and you don't release remove yourself from that situation that thought can become literally an action can become can even lead to like depression just because of that tiny seed that you've allowed to grow and we can see that in the word of god we can see that with the story of joseph it's so interesting how literally the jealousy just starts with a seed and how quickly it grows 12 brothers and they didn't like their brother joseph because he was like one of the youngest but yet he was you know special to his dad his dad loved him his dad jacob and so they were like they didn't like him, you know, and they used to pick on him and be like, nah, because he was favoured. And, you know, before we know it, Joseph started having dreams and telling them about his dreams. And the hate grew. And before we knew it, they started plotting to kill their own brother. Now, I know a lot of us are thinking, mm, but I'll never go as far as killing people. But that's what you think. But the power of jealousy is literally a device from the enemy. And it can actually make you do things that you may not have done otherwise. But because you've allowed it to enter into your heart and grow, you're doing things that you may not necessarily would have wanted to do. Now they ended up plotting to kill their own brother. And it just started off with the fact that who does he think he is saying that we're gonna bow down and he, bow down to him in his dream? Or who does he think he is being favored by our dad? And so jealousy can literally start with a tiny seed and let it grow. But it's important of us as children of God to make sure that we put barriers in place and we make sure that we die daily. With our human nature, guys, yes, we are prone to these kind of things. Jealousy, envious, comparison, looking at other people. It's natural, it's one of the annoying things that comes with flesh. However, because we are children of God, we are born, we are renewed into a new creation. We now have the mind of Christ and we understand that in order to be able to overcome jealousy, we need to overcome it with love. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4, it says, love is patient and kind. It does not boast nor envy, it is not arrogant. So you can see how love is not part of that jealousy. So I thought to myself, okay, when I get these like kind of jealous thoughts, when I get these kind of thoughts that I know are not of God, thank God for his Holy Spirit, because his Holy Spirit is sent down to counsel us, to train us, to guide us. And because we have his Holy Spirit, that's when we now get convicted by these things. You know, sometimes you can just be you can just be a jealous person and you're not even convicted. But when you're convicted, that's when you know, yes, the Holy Spirit is here to train me, to renew me, to help me. And when the Holy Spirit convicts you, that's when you now pray. And listen, the power of prayer is so real. Any time that you have literally a seed, a drop in your thought of jealousy, of envious, comparing yourself to one person, prayer is the best. The fact that we have decided to pray for that person indicates the power of love because we're putting that person in prayer. We're putting that person in the hands of God. We're sub submitting ourselves and through that 
we now start to begin to pray for them. And I'm not joking, guys. It actually works. When you begin to pray for the person, your heart, your heart changes. It renews to the heart of Christ. And every single day, when you keep practicing, when you keep doing it, Paul said, I die to self daily. He said that for a reason. Because every single day, it's a battle. Every single day, we are, we are choosing flesh or the spirit. And as we continue to submit our flesh, to the Holy Spirit. As we continue to say, no flesh, you're not gonna win, okay? You may have won, you know, before, but my God has already won the victory and I'm not gonna submit to my flesh, no, because God's heart is not a heart of jealous, but it's a heart of love. You know, he cares for that brother or sister. He cares for every single one of us. And so I'm gonna pray for a renewal of mind that God help me to love that person. Remove all jealousy, remove all the seeds. Don't allow the enemy to lie to you. Do not allow the enemy to, don't even ponder on it. The moment that seed drops, attack it in prayer. So yeah, I just literally wanted to encourage you guys about this, that you don't have to succumb to this jealousy. Jealousy is natural, yes, but we don't need to live in that way. We are children of God, of the most high, okay? That's it really. Yeah, so yeah, that's it really.